Welcome in and welcome back. We're here again with Edith Finch and we just learned about how our relative Walter was hiding under the house for like 30 years and then he finally decided to break a hole through the wall to go confront the monster and promptly got ran over by a train. Trying to bury something that's still alive. And we're gonna follow in his footsteps. Hopefully not all the way. I hope there's no trains. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. Walk on the side of the tracks. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Oh, like in hearing them. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We created it. We made it real. There's believing and then there's common sense. 1952 to 2005. Did they seriously put a train on top of his memorial? Wow. Well, wait, where did the train even go to? Oh. Oh, is this because it, of him it crashed? It doesn't even seem like it was really well supported in the first place. Ooh, there's a pretty island. I want to go visit that island. Figure out what's going on over there. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Probably this path over here, but I don't want to jump. I don't know if I should even be writing this. True. You're continuing the curse by doing it. Burn it. Burn the stories. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Probably. Okay. Little light. But I thought you should know about your family. Is this to the baby? Hello, little baby. Hello. You have a weird family. Full moon. And the history you're a part of. I'm assuming we shouldn't walk into the ocean, but I thought I'd try just in case. Ah, perhaps up these stairs over here. Can we go on to the remains of that dock? Let's try. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. Well, you're right next to your house. How- what do you want to know? I'll help you. I'll try. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Probably not the wisest decision. Walking on a rickety old bridge. But hey, it was a nice view. Looks like we're supposed to go right, but I'm gonna go left. These are really tricky lights. Like they're probably the sun sensitive kind versus anything else, but still. Why does this look like this? What is this? Is this part of the dragon? The dragon slide? I think this might be part of the dragon slide. Ow, oh, if, if so, this would have been a really cool idea and I could see why he was making a dragon slide. Because then you could jump in right next to the house and go straight down to the beach. Ah, oh, such a good idea. I hope that's what that is. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, that's not the path forward. Up the stairs we go instead. Creaky old stairs. I'm impressed this house is not falling apart around us. Knock on wood. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. To a degree that it does. Definitely madness. Alright, where do I go? We've been here for a while for it to already be night out. 
It was daytime when we got here. Anything I could interact with over here? No. It looks like we're going right. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Maybe that's why your brother. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? True. Can we light this? Nope. Maybe that's what happened to your brother Milton as he got wise to it before you did and decided to leave. Ooh, okay. Can we go in there? Is that the part of the cemetery? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Aww. Three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault. Furpy Chirpy Burpy Derpy and Derpy Junior and Lurpy and Zerpy Zoe Coco Tucker Charlie Daisy and Lucy What a gang And some of them don't even have names Oh so sad Bailey Bob Shadow Oliver and Christopher and Shatsy Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Oh, Sven. Edie. Walter. Barbara. Yeah, it definitely has a style to it. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Cricket? Oh. That is tragic. So was the little baby born already? It was. And he was, yeah. And she could see it poking out of the water at low tide. The house? That was the house I saw? That's definitely the house. The curse has followed us. I thought we were just joking about a curse, but now I'm not so sure, my friend. Now I'm not so sure. Let's go look at that house that still has lights on. Yep, I could see it all right. Zoom in closer. Better if you can. I can't I can't control anything. Oh, I I can control things. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Perhaps you should forget it. Very spooky. Okay, so it's not the house lit up. It's that means they got so close, so close to getting to the other side of the ocean before it all went downhill. And there's a normal city over there. I wonder how they feel having that. Oh, in another city. Is that a raft? Nope, I can't interact with it again. That looks like a raft. <sighs> For a second, I thought there were people that were not stone statues. Um, I guess we'll go back this way. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Wait. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Mm. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory, Gus, and Sam. Lots of places to sit on this half of the... She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Louis, Sonia, Milton. We never found Milton's body. So my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. What's he holding? Is that a paintbrush? Oh, I guess he was painting in the halls. Oh, Milton. Where'd you go? Hopefully he's around here somewhere. Well, hopefully not. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself and hopefully make your own decision too i guess we'll go up here 
not be held to the traditions of your family and its curse. And perhaps knowing about the curses and how it works is what makes you infected by it. Oh shoot, are we infected? Did I just... I'm sorry if that's the case. I'm so sorry. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing... <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. So she is pregnant and not just heavy set. Oh my gosh, lady! What are you, crazy? I can't believe she just did that. Just up and... I mean, this whole house. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. So what happened to the mom? Oh, did he like to barbecue? Sam, I like it. Seemed like a chill dude. Oh, we must be on one of the higher stories. They were both pretty intense. You decide to capture intenseness by showing a bear. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. True. Ooh, there's a little door there. We'll get to that soon. We'll get to that soon. Interesting. The bed is pulled back like he just instead of hiding from got death, up and left. Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Like some others in the family. Kitty cat. And did he also go military? Airline ticket. Now that is creepy. Like if I saw the shadow of that in the middle of the night, I would not be impressed. I'd be kind of creeped out. Even just in the stark room, I'm kind of creeped out. But le let's learn more about, I guess, how he died. Um, U.S. Marines. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. No, maybe maybe I should. Like maybe I should. Nope. Nope. But, but, yes, yes, use this envelope to, oh, it's going to be pictures. I love pictures, but if they're scary pictures, we should face our fears. That's not so bad. It's a picture of him. It's a picture of someone else afraid. It's... Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Can I zoom in? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. This is so blurry. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just want to get a shot of you, Dawn. Then we can take oh, off. Oh, here we go. What? Perfect. I was trying to use the mouse so the keyboard. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. <laughs> okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Classic. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine. Dad. What do you expect to happen? You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. Like half the, our relatives? Serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Hunting season. Ah. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Oh, Calvin. Your grandpa's fan taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. 
We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. What happened to the deer? I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. All right, I'll just be shooting things here. Ow, a bird. Dad. Good eyes, Don. Mm-hmm. I got good eyes. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Wait. Where? Oh, here you are. Dad, I... Just breathe. Just breathe. Breathe. As you kill things, breathe. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Mm. Great shot, Don! <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh, he's trying to force her to be strong in his own way. Oh. Okay, now we're controlling him. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize we were making our daughter cry just to... Ah, how do I get up? It's twitching. I think That's it's That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the uh -oh. camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Wow. I mean, this takes ironic deaths to a whole new level. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. That one seems a bit more realistic than some others. I don't even know how Molly died, actually. Like, did she just not wake... Did she disappear that night? Like, things... Some things are not very clear how they happened. Can we not grab the camera? I want the camera. Or we could leave it off right here as we are apt to do. Thank you very much for tuning in. Monster behind door number one and viewer at home and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time hopefully bye bye <laughs>